So the other day my cell phone died and when I came back to charge it, it wouldn't do anything. Wouldn't turn on, uh, wouldn't charge. At first I thought my cell phone was dead or maybe faulty battery because these were brand new batteries. Um, then I realized that there was a protection circuit in these lithium ion batteries that prevent over discharging. And then I wondered, can we bring these back to life? Let's see. So let's see what happens. We've got our battery in. We can push the power button, does nothing. And if we plug in our charger, and plug it into a power bar, the charger reports that the battery is full. Now, just to verify, we can uh, use our multimeter and see what's, uh, what's being reported. So we've got zero volts. Hopefully you can see that. And same with this one. You can test this one. Zero volts. So let's see if we can make a little cable to bypass our charger and bring these batteries out of deep sleep. So to bring these batteries out of deep sleep we're going to need to create our own little custom charge cable. Now this is not to, to fully charge the battery, it's just enough to get it in some charge that allows us to put it in the charger and complete the charge process. So what we're going to need is an old USB cable some wire cutters and some wire strippers. The first thing we want to do is we want to cut off the end of the USB that we don't need. So we'll just slice it off and we are now left with a USB cable that looks like that with no end. Now we want to get rid of this external casing. And you can see now we're left with some bare wires here. Let's just uh, bend them back. I like to actually just wind these around, twist them, and then cut them off. The next little bit is we've got some uh, foil. Get rid of this foil as well. Just some extra casing. So now you can see that we're left with four different wires. We got a red, black, green, and white. Let's take the, the green and white and we'll cut those as well. I don't need them. So we got black and red. So let's just take off the casing of each of these. We don't need to do the whole thing, just a little bit. And these ones are a little bit of a pain. So there's that one and this one. Now I like to fan these out a little bit and you can see that there's some hairs so if you want you can cut those little hairs off and then just twist. And again twist and now we're left with a cable like this. So now that we've got our custom USB cable, we can plug it into our charger, connect the black wire to the negative terminal on the battery and the positive red wire to the positive. And we can take 
our charger, plug it into the power source, and charge. Now we'll just hold this there for a few minutes. Shouldn't take long. That'll probably be enough. So we'll just unplug our charger, remove the wire, and we'll take our multimeter here and just see what's see what we got. And you can see we've got some voltage here. 2.9 volts. Now that it's out of deep sleep, we can throw it back into our charger and charge as normal. Now if we want to just double check, now that this one is out of deep sleep, can we bring this one out of deep sleep? So we'll just double check this one again. Nothing. We'll plug our cable into the charger. Match the red wire with the positive and then black with the negative. Plug it into the power source. Hold it for a few minutes. That should be good. Remove the supply. We'll take our multimeter again. and you can see we've got almost 3 volts. So now we've got two batteries that are now completely out of deep sleep and can be used as regular, as a normal battery. So now that this battery has been charging, we'll see if it works. And there you go, bringing a lithium-ion battery out of deep sleep. Hope this helps.